a physical line of scrimmage football team that's going to run the football first, and they're showing that early here. Anathema to what you expect from the air raid. This is more like it, and it's Robertson downfield. Did he stay in bounds? He did. And a first down for SMU. Downfield, and it's caught by Danny Gray. And punts. And the Mustangs on the board first. Doesn't have to happen right away. Get yourself in rhythm and then start making some inc incremental improvements in terms of tempo. High snap. The give is to Clark. Churning. And he picks up the first down. On the ground. Flag is down. Marquavius Weaver getting the call. And the field goal by Patterson, one of the best in the country, is good from 25. Wow. Shane Bouchel finds a wide open Kylan Granson, and the tight end rumbles into Memphis territory. On third and 14. Francis coming off a corner blitz. Bouchel's going to tuck and run. And he's got the first down. How about Shane? And it's going to be a late hit on Memphis. So Tack got some more yards. McDaniel, the starting running back, went down on the first play of the game with a left leg injury. Bouchel pumps, throws, touchdown, Danny Gray. Hey, Ranther, he doesn't think he can cross his face. So you have times 21 personnel, that's two backs, one tight end, and a lot more looks and formations. On third down, Bouchel going long. Robertson in stride. It's a foot race. They won't catch him. Mention to how Shane Bouchel wasn't quite on target. Uh, last week got off to a fast start, but then sputtered a little bit so far today He has been throwing who's had COVID who has it. All right, let's let's sit him around Brady white We can we can be protected. We got to protect our quarterback big throw here And a first down throw to the tight end Cameron Wilson from Bessemer, Alabama This could possibly be four down territory if you're Memphis on offense Five-man rush white hit as he throws it. It's intercepted by Crossley And the two active defensive tackles in Joseph Dorsius and O'Brien Goodson. So instead, it's third and long. And Bouchel steps up in the pocket, throws on the run. Robertson, what a deke. First down and more. Down the sideline. Reggie Robertson making another house call. You cannot give up explosives. Credit Shane Bouchel here, navigates the pocket, steps up, yet keeps his eyes downfield, and gets the ball out to Robertson, who, number one, makes the first defender miss. He led the conference in completion percentage last year. There's Tariq Clark barreling across midfield and finally thrown down by Delano Robinson, but a first down run. Clock's dwindling, get your defense some rest. They're, they're going to be okay if they just settle down. Wide open, Coxey, and another red zone try for Memphis. Again, in the red area, they've got to capitalize. Red zone production has not been what it needs to be. Trey Clark makes a man miss, lowers his head, and he continues to fight for those tough yards, a gain of 11. White throwing. He's got Austin, and the All-American track star takes it in for six. Well executed play you see him look to his left and come underneath on the tunnel screen and then Austin does what he does in space if it's late we're not holding up with just you know six in the box stopping the run Kylan Watkins into the secondary and beyond Washington blocking for Watkins out front 
And he is well into SMU territory. And they are really having their way on the ground. Downfield wide open and a Sean Dykes sighting. Touchdown Memphis. There he is. Pick number five. Really good receivers. And this is just the seam route down the middle of the field. Ball's got to be completed around 18 to 22 yards. Kyle Trask has developed into one heck of a steady player at quarterback. SMU now after Memphis has put together a couple of big touchdown drives, and that's been the big bread and butter. It's been the big play. It's yeah. Kyler Grants in this time. Moment, nice completion, line to gain. Downfield intercepted, Denbo. And now SMU with two timeouts might have a chance to get some points before halftime. <laughs> we could have a, uh, a camera on Tom Luganbill's face anytime that there is a turnover prop. <laughs> Wide open, Reggie Robertson. And you can see some of the confetti, the confetti spilling out onto the field. The ball is out. Memphis says wow. they have it, and they do. Oh, boy. Officially a 56-yarder. It would be a career long. And it's good. From 62, it would have been good in each. On the zone read, Brady Wright made the wrong read, and Jimmy Phillips screens him in the backfield. That could determine a lot. No division format in the conference. Chris Nagar on fourth down and six drills the field goal from 25 yards. The trip look here down at the bottom and the single to the top. Coxie up top. White back in the end zone. Touchdown, Taj Washington. The first touchdown of his career. Tight bunch look to the right. Brady White looks like he's going to go up top. When conditioning really becomes a factor in this game. Bouchelle taking a shot downfield. Robertson and he is holding that left knee he was one cut away from breaking it half of the offensive output for SMU on the day was still a quarter to go Rice holds on to this one lost the football who's got it line judge trying to get at the bottom of that pile Memphis with the turnover. Mustang 7 of 12 on third down, make it 7 of 13. Joseph Dorsius into the backfield for the sack. Over in Dallas, 27-27. Memphis was down 24-3 at one point. They've rallied back. They've never led. Tigers with the ball, and Brady White is sacked, and all of a sudden, this second half has turned into a defensive game. Four-man pressure. White eluding the pursuit, nowhere to go, and he goes down. Flag down. Now seven if you count today. White lost the football, and SMU able to recover so careful with the football in the pocket the ball gets low and away and Aho Mustangs need the 35 over the middle and it's hauled in by Granson for a first down Bouchelle to the sideline. He's got Upshaw diving forward for extra yards. And they'll mark him out of bounds at the 26-yard line. This one is up, and it's good. This is what Sonny Dykes did not have last year. Beacon was Sonny Dykes this week. You asked him specifically, what did you learn? Over the middle, Dykes will lateral it back to Coxie. And hits the turf, SMU has it. 
They snap a six-game losing streak to Memphis. And the Mustangs improve to 4 and 0. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.